Charlie Morton with that wealth of playoff experience has the ball for Atlanta and makes his second home start tonight. Dickerson swings and misses. There's the big breaking ball from Charlie Morton. And a good start for the Braves. Right hander. Now he'll face Starling Marte. And he goes. Yeah, he went around. Back to back strikeout starts the night for Charlie Morton. Marte didn't think so. Rye smile as he takes a left turn. Get him conscious with the fastball. Pull the string a little bit with, I'm sorry, with the curveball and couldn't hold up. Now Nick Neidert, the Atlanta native, heads out there for the bottom of the first. Well, you know he's going to be amped up, and that's why I want to see the velocity. I mean, he, he averages around low 90s. Acuna Jr. out towards center field. Coming in is Marte. Here's Marcelo Ozuna. Had a good night last night. Three for four. A homer drove in three. One, two pitch to Ozuna. A swing and a miss. He struck him out. One, two, three. First inning. Pitching in front of family and friends in the big leagues for the first time. Well, the Adam Duvall traveling roadshow is going to continue here in the top of the second. He will lead things off for the Marlins to be followed by Anderson and Chisholm as he takes on Charlie Morton. Three balls, two strikes. And strike three. Duvall takes 96 on the black outside corner. And Miami has a second inning threat. So now it's Mickey with two on and one out. This is down the line. Is it going to stay fair? Yes, it will. Up and over the wall. An automatic double. So the good news is they score a run. The bad news is they only score a run. Next up is Jorge Alfaro back in the lineup after missing five or six days with hamstring tightness second and third one out and Alfaro's retired on three pitches strikeout number four and now with Nick Neidert coming up you like your chances of escaping the inning and he's 0 for 2 Morton strikes out the side but the fish cash in a one out walk Neidert leads one nothing after one and a half Marlins a one nothing lead as we head to the top of the third inning Marlins have Marte at first Dickerson at third nobody out three two pitch to Aguilar ground ball into the hole at short diving stop Swanson no play an infield hit and RBI two nothing Miami Dickerson scores from third Marte takes second and Jesus Aguilar now has a nine game hitting streak to begin the season with two on and two out here in the top of the third so now it's up to Jazz Chisholm this is Jazz with a high fly ball, deep center field. It's CRT turns and looks. It's a three run homer for Jazz Chisholm Jr. A five nothing Marlins lead here in the third. Well, he got DeGrom on Saturday. Another all star tonight, Charlie Morton. He unloaded to a big part of the park, straight away center field. A stunning turn of events in the top of the third inning changes the look of this game. Five nothing lead for the Marlins. Braves don't even have a hit yet. Austin Riley leads things off bottom of the third. Austin Riley lifts one right field. Back goes Duvall. Makes the catch up against the wall. Well, beautifully done. He has had himself quite a series. Maybe not with the bat yet tonight. He's still warming up, but a nice job here. He gets himself to the wall, gives himself a perfect amount of time to make a nice leaping catch at the wall. It's Yarte still at first with two away, and it brings up Ronald Acuna. Already down five, the Braves need something big to happen. How about a big fly? I'd like it. In the air, left center field. Marte just admires that baby. That's a home run for Ronald Acuna, and the Braves are on the board. It's five to two. A moonshot, way up in the air. Left of dead center, number, number five, RBI's nine and ten. And now Freeman rips one down the right field line. That'll bounce off the wall. Freeman takes the turn. Throw from Duvall is in time. Adam Duvall played the carom perfectly, and Freddie Freeman is gunned down to end the inning, trying to stretch a single into a double. Oh, that's when he'd like to have back trailing by three runs. Adam Duvall telling Freddie Freeman it always bounce into the stand into the uh, field of play and Freddie can't believe it. <laughs> and now Jorge Alfaro leads off the fourth inning against Charlie Morton's and got her to chase it. Well Alfaro's really had the strikeout bug in this series again bad hamstring and bad luck. Dickerson has a blue pit and Miami has two on with one out. Well, Morton's had to work hard after a one two three first inning. Now he deals with Marte. 
Sharply hit to short. Second base one. High fee, but Ozzie stayed with it. And Marte did indeed hit into a much needed inning ending double play. He goes to the bottom of the fifth. 5 2 Marlins. Leadoff man aboard for the Braves. Charlie Morton will stand in. Let's see if he can get a bunt down. Pops up the bunt. Nyer gets to it. And Inciarte is all the way at second. What a break the Marlins get right there. A double play. So Nyer one out away from qualifying for his first big league win. But he's staring Ronald Acuna Jr. in the face. And Ronald hit a long home run back in the third inning. Stroke to center. Marte on the run. Look at that ball carry over his head. That'll bounce high off the fence and ricochet back toward the infield. Acuna continues his scorching start. Braves leave after the game tomorrow. They're going to drag him kicking and screaming to the charter before it heads to Chicago. Freddie Freeman is ready to go to work at the plate. Last year's National League MVP has this year's MVP leader, Acuna, in scoring position. Swing and a fly ball. That's hit it for the corner. That ball is off the brick wall. Well played by Duvall, and Freddie's not running this time. And Acuna comes home to score to make it 5-3. to three. <laughs> Duvall came up ready to throw to second, and Freeman just slammed on the brakes and wisely settled for the long single. A one-out walk. Third walk of the night for Albies. That brings up Dansby Swanson, who has hit into a double play, and he's walked. Line caught by Rojas. What a play by Miggy Rowe to take a hit away from Swanson. My goodness, Miguel Rojas does it once again. Well, steps and a dive to the backhand in the hole. This is a big, big out. Ronald Acuna Jr., a two run homer back in the third. Another one of those here in the seventh would get us tied. In the air, that's well hit. That's down the line. That ball is gone. He does it again. Ronaldus Magnus continues his unbelievable oh, oh, run. Two more two run homers tonight. And the Braves have tied Miami 5-5. But it didn't work. As now Freddie Freeman stands in. He hammers the ball. Diving stop at second. Chisholm. What a play to his left. Throws to first for the out. Wow, what a play right there by Jazz Chisholm. That ball was smoked. Braves closer. Will Smith will work the ninth inning. He worked two days ago and had a perfect one, two, three, ninth inning when the game went extra innings. He came back to strike him out. Cooper's down swinging. There's the first. Top of the order now and Corey Dickerson. And Dickerson swings and misses. Back to back strikeouts for Will Smith. And now it's Smith against Martin. And it's swung on and missed. Slider in the dirt. Barno has to flip it to first, which he does. Inning over. Will Smith strikes out the side in the ninth inning. The man that made the last out in the ninth inning will be placed at second base. And it's a fast man for Miami. It is Starling Marte. Here's Aguilar, who's one for four, an RBI single and a run scored tonight. And Aguilar left field, base hit. Marte around third, he will score. And Jesus Aguilar into second base. Marlins have a six to five lead. <laughs> Replace your runner. I love it. Ball, when it comes to the breaking ball, fouling off fastball after fastball, gets a curveball out over the plate, goes down and gets it, lines it into left. Marte comes around to score. Aguilar gets himself into scoring position. Great at bat by the big guy. Cunha, Freeman, and Ozuna will square off with Yimmy Garcia, who will try to protect a one-run lead. Swing and a oh. miss, strike three. Beat him with 95, and that is out number one. Yeah, Garcia right back at him. So two outs, tying man 90 feet away from Marcel Ozuna. A one-two from Garcia. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's a Marlins win. They take the first three in the series in Atlanta, two of them in extra innings, and the Marlins now have a four-game win streak.